Welcome to Open House Lakeland College and thank you for visiting CARE, Conservation and Restoration Ecology in the Environmental Sciences Diploma. I'm Robin lagroy mclean I'm an instructor in Environmental Sciences and I teach CARE uh, four specific courses in their major. I'm also the program head of the CARE major. My expertise is plant ecology, and I love to share the knowledge that I have with students. I'm especially passionate about um, plant ecology, plant identification, and especially those prairies and wetlands. Hi, everyone. Again, thanks for joining us. My name is Jennifer McGinnis, and I am also a CARE instructor. I teach the restoration class and applied techniques in restoration. My background is in uh, field ecology and sampling, so I'm excited to get out in the field with you and teach you some of these applied techniques that we use. The CARE major encompasses a broad range of topics and skills that ultimately all focus on the conservation, protection, and the restoration of our natural ecosystems. Today's ecosystems are under a lot of pressure and impacted in many ways. In the CARE program, we learn how to protect and manage these natural landscapes and some of the best management practices that we can use when we do disturb these landscapes. It is far easier to protect and manage ecosystems than it is to restore. So learning how to graze a prairie, how to minimize impact on peatlands when industry is impacting those natural ecosystems is a way to conserve, protect, and manage. Restoration is the practice when we do get degraded and or we entirely lose an ecosystem. And so we need to fix those systems and try to return them to something that was similar to what they were previously. It may not be exactly the same, but to, for it to function, for it to have value, ecosystem services, and provide, say, habitat for, for wildlife. It could be something as simple as restoring a pipeline through a prairie or become a much more complex task when you say dealing with creating a brand new wetland. Some examples may be restoring specific sites for endangered species. Land restoration may occur for these different reasons uh, for these species or for conservation purposes. Some species are more at risk than others. And we ensure that the work that we do meets the needs of these wildlife animals and uh, bird species or native plants to ensure that they will last on the landscape and have a sustainable functioning ecosystem to live in. Impacts are varied and be caused by a number of different um, sectors. Here we have a river system that is impacted by agriculture and the simple process of collecting that forage and haying it has resulted in the loss of the buffer. And this would be an example of what CARE students would learn about is how to manage and protect this particular area. So the impact of agriculture is resulting in nutrients going into that water system. We have lost habitat for wildlife. And in addition, kind of a silent uh, impact is invasive species. So this particular site has Canada thistle and a number of very undesirable plant species that are changing the ecological integrity of this system. Our students might learn about how to prevent those activities from occurring. Uh, they might learn how to manage it and how to try to eradicate it. And it could be a, something as simple as goldfish in a wetland in an urban center or invasive snails or whirling disease in our water systems. There are a number of other impacts that we look at in the CARE major where we learn how to minimize those impacts and what might be the best management practices when activities are occurring and then how do we fix those ecosystems after these impacts. So it could be something as simple as um, a small 
disturbance like an oil site, a battery site, although those become cumulative when there's more than one on the landscape. Much larger impacts are forestry cut blocks. When you look at mining for um, different resources, such as oil, gas, or diamond mining, seismic lines through our northern boreal into our prairie um, leave behind a grid pattern of disturbed ecosystem that affects wildlife and plants and changes the functions of those ecosystems. Could be a pipeline going through a wetland or a gravel pit. It's something as simple as urban development that removes our wetlands, loss of natural habitat, uh, weeds becoming uh, invading into an ecosystem, or people simply overusing a sensitive habitat or using recreational vehicles. We focus on these types of industry and impacts and we learn how to mitigate those impacts and fix the problems that occur from them. That results in us looking at programs and our various courses that we take in our first year study. And so as a first year student, when you attend a Lakeland College and you're in your first year classes, you're going to actually learn about ecosystems. You're going to see woodlands and grasslands and wetlands and see in terms of how do they function. To learn to recognize those ecosystems and what are the plants in those ecosystems and some of the different wildlife. You'll be practicing field sampling methods in botany and ecology. You'll learn how to read maps and read a compass. You're also going to learn about prairie landscapes and freshwater systems and learn about soils that you would find in these in these areas. All of this is the fundamental building blocks for learning your applied skills that relate to your career choices. In your second year of care, we often use these introductory skills that we learn in the first year and apply them deeper in more labs in your second year. Some examples of these labs will be applying techniques and using things like mapping, GIS, and vegetation sampling to conduct rare plant surveys with Alberta Environment and Parks, identify and classify or delineate wetlands that are impacted every day, or something as complicated and detailed as doing plant transplants like rough fescue on orphan well sites with one of our industry partners. In care, we like to focus on how everything is connected. Without learning the basics, we can't promote sustainable land use, which helps promotes healthy ecosystems that support our wildlife species and vegetation communities. It all works together. When you've completed your diploma, you'll choose to go to work. And we have many successful graduates that are working with their diplomas. In addition, though, you have many future options to help you continue your path to learning. One of those options is at Lakeland College, where we have a Bachelor of Applied Science in Environment Management. So with your diploma, you may enter that applied degree and focus more on reclamation and monitoring for uh, eight months of school, followed by a practicum that is typically paid. Uh, in that practicum, you will work in a business, you'll learn different skill sets, you'll be able to use what you've learned in your schooling under the direction of people that work in the industry. Some of those lead to permanent job situations, but as a minimum, they're all helping you learn about the environmental sciences industry. So Lakeland College Bachelor of Applied uh, Science and Environmental Management is one option for you. There are many other options. And so if you're looking for a bachelor, uh, a degree, then maybe going to university is a choice that you'd like to make. We have transfer agreements, what we call two for two, meaning you can use two years, your diploma, towards credit for a four-year degree. So for instance, from the care major, you could choose to go to the University of Alberta and in environmental sciences, you could take conservation biology major. 
the reclamation major or the range and wildlife major. If you're a little bit more maybe into that agricultural side of things and you really enjoy the soils part, the University of Saskatchewan is a very popular choice for many of our students. Uh, some of our students are choosing to go to British Columbia institutions. And BCIT, for instance, you can get a duration degree. So there are many, many choices. You don't have to all do them immediately. These can be things you can do within a couple of years, but we really have some fantastic transfer agreements if you're looking to further your education. If you're moving straight into the workforce, many of our students are employed by municipalities where they'll work as agrologists, ag fieldmen, weed inspectors, pest inspectors, land use planners, or weed specialists, or may work at nonprofit agencies, including Ducks Unlimited, Cows and Fish, parks, provincial parks, national parks, uh, groups like Nature Conservancy or Nature Saskatchewan, or many students become employed in the consulting world where uh, consultants work in oil and gas reclamation, pipeline reclamation and planning, mining reclamation and planning, or forestry reclamation and planning to improve the ecosystems before and after disturbance. To give you a bit of a, an idea of what our students do when they complete their diploma, I wanna share a couple stories with you. And I'd like to emphasize that one of the real advantages of our care major is the broadness of our program. Yes, we learn a lot about plants, but many students focus on soils and we learn about some of the wildlife and the biodiversity. And we really learn about ecosystem management in the care program. So there is this real broadness within that allows our students to go into a variety of different places just compared to those that Jen has just talked about. Here we have ben. ben graduated with his diploma and he has worked for a number of years in consulting with his diploma. He worked summers with Nature Conservancy and then uh, worked in the city of Edmonton and he kind of became a specialist in urban land use planning and he really focused on wetlands and uh, wetland monitoring and assessments, invasive species and wildlife tracking in that urban center. He continues to work today with his diploma in consulting and has uh, he's really, really has used what he learned in his care programming in his in his career choice. Then we move on to Caitlin. Caitlin also another care student who chose to work with her diploma. Uh, Caitlin is from Saskatchewan and was able to secure some summer jobs with uh, Nature Sask. And ultimately that worked out for her into a permanent position. And she's moved from those field positions to where now she works with landowners and works with prairie conservation species at risk she helps create projects and works with landowners to secure land for those endangered species and grant writing and uh, really playing a huge role in stewardship and conservation. Then we go on to Chris. Chris, uh, again, another care major, but he chose to go on to that Bachelor of Applied Science in Environmental Management at Lakeland College. Uh, he majored in that reclamation side, which gave him an even broader um, learning background with those two areas. But in the end, he ended up working for Alice, which is an altern alternative land use services in the county of Vermilion. And you'll see this particular group um, in throughout a couple of provinces in different municipalities and counties. And they work with landowners to uh, restore wetlands and restore prairie ecosystems and trying just to work with them to enhance habitat and increase those ecosystem services across the landscape. So Chris has used his care background with wetlands and prairie and wildlife and has worked that into a job that um, he, he loves working with landowners and the public and teaching people about conservation and stewardship. And the last student I'll highlight is Caitlin. 
Um, Caitlin did her diploma, but also her Bachelor of Applied. Caitlin has worked a number of years as an agrologist and as a land use specialist. She has really focused in on the wetlands, wetland classification and assessment. She's done soil assessments, water monitoring. She has worked uh, a lot in the gravel pit industry, in the reclamation industry, but she's taken those care applied skill sets and incorporate them into those jobs. And so today she is working online towards a degree. Um, so here we have a variety of students, diploma, applied degrees, and students that have also gotten degrees and working on them that work in different careers in care. Ultimately, we take care because ecosystems matter. Thanks for checking us out. We hope you see that CARE sets you up for a diverse array of options with these detailed hands-on field techniques and skills learned throughout your two-year diploma here at Lakeland College with over 400 hours of lab time. We hope to see you online or in person September 21, 2021. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions. Thanks. Bye everybody.